Hey guys, in this video I'm going to explain to you some really important things about the DGI no-fly zone. One, what happens when you attempt to fly in or to a no-fly zone. Two, how to get authorized to fly in a no-fly zone. Do not recommend that of course. Three, why you should not rely on the DGI Go4 app to determine the no-fly zones. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. So on the screen we have the map view of the DJI Go4 app. We're going to talk about the yellow zone and the red zone that you see in the middle there. We're not going to cover the green zone, they're not restricted like the yellow and red zones are. What's going to be really important for you guys to be aware of is that these zones do not properly reflect the five mile radius around airports that you're supposed to avoid. Let me show you an example here this is the actual five mile radius so do not use the DJI Go4 app as a reference for where or where you cannot fly your drone very important what I highly recommend you use is another app it's called AirMap it's available for iOS and Android it's a free app and I found it to be very accurate so I would highly recommend using this so back to the app I'm going to show you some other really important things that you should be aware of. Here this yellow zone, this is actually a military air base and yellow zones you could actually authorize yourself to be able to fly there and I'll show you how you do that later on but of course don't do that here okay you shouldn't do it at all and I probably shouldn't even explain how to do that but here's another airport this is a public use airport. It's marked in yellow. Again, you could authorize yourself to fly here. Remember, these zones are not marked properly to reflect the five mile radius that you're supposed to stay away from for safety reasons and all that. Okay? So now I'm going to show you the various messages that you receive when you approach and fly through these restricted zones. Now, bear in mind, I have my drone sitting on the dash of my car. I'm not actually flying it. Okay. So here I'm approaching the yellow restricted zone. Take note there on the top left that says ready to go. It's in green. Now I just turn red. I've just passed through that restricted zone. So I cannot start my motors nor can I fly in the zone. Alright, so now I'm approaching the red zone. And nothing much is really going to happen here as far as the messaging or the ability to fly. You can't fly at all in the red restricted zone. So now in this clip I'm going to attempt to start the motors on my drone. I'm in the red restricted zone now. There I just did the combination stick command where I pull both sticks down and in the center. I get that message. The motors will not start. Attempt to do so again, same message. Now I'm going to go ahead and touch on the what is authorization zone, that link right there, and it's going to have a brief explanation. These zones marked in yellow, users will be prompted with a warning and flight is limited by default. Authorization zones may be unlocked by authorized users using a DJI verified account. I'll show you that in the next clip. You can also report an error. I have found a red restricted zone that was marked right in the middle of a intersection. So that's obviously wrong. Here's some of the errors that you could report. Okay, so the next segment I'm going to show you how you can authorize yourself to be able to fly in the yellow restricted zone. So you can see now I'm positioned between the yellow circle and the red circle. And I'm going to go through the steps to authorize yourself to be able to fly in this area. Now I do not recommend this. Probably not a good idea for me to show you even how to do this. But I did it anyway. So please do not do this. I don't recommend it. So there's two ways to authorize yourself to be able to fly in this zone. You can use the SMS text message option. You simply put in your phone number, it sends you a code via text message. I tried it, it doesn't work. Okay, so what I had to do was actually use a credit card. 
and here I'm entering my credit card number in. Didn't really feel great about doing this because I didn't really want to break any rules here, but I'm showing it just for the purposes of this video. Okay, you do need to touch on these check marks to prove that you've authorized yourself to fly in this location, or you have the authority, rather, to fly in this location, and that you're going to take full responsibility for flying this area. Okay, hit confirm. It's unlocked. So now you'll see that yellow circle is no longer there. Okay, now I'm actually going to take off in this area. I'm only going to fly take to off. about 45 feet high, so I'm not going to be risking any airplanes in the area here. Okay, again, this is just for demonstration purposes. I don't recommend anyone to do this. Alright, so I've taken off. And what I'm going to do is actually approach the red zone. Again, I'm only flying 45 feet, which is below tree level as well. Now, as I approach the red zone, it's given me some messaging. And it's actually stopped my drone from flying forward. Okay, I'm going to move back a little bit and then fly up against the zone again. Can't really tell that in the little video screen in the bottom left there, but uh, it's preventing me from entering the red zone. Okay, I'm backing up further here. I'm going to go to the full screen mode so you can see a little bit better what happens. Now I'm going to go ahead and fly forward, and there, it just stopped me from entering that red zone. Alright guys, so I hope you found this video to be helpful. might open up a lot of questions about this feature, call it, in the DJI GO app. It's actually part of your firmware, it's not part of the app. Anyhow, hope you found this helpful. Got a lot of other videos that I've done for the Mavic already, so please check those out. And I've got a lot more videos coming up. So like this video if you liked it. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more future videos. Thanks for watching.